Yo dudes, the Empire's pretty chill. Maybe you could like join it or something. Hey guys, so today is the day. Um, I am finally going to be watching uh, Star Wars Rise of Skywalker today at the cinema. I'm about to head there pretty soon. Uh, got my ticket, so yeah, uh, I'm going to be going. I'm a bit concerned about this movie because, you know, um, I thought, you know, the previous one, The Last Jedi, was really terrible. And I just hope this is going to be like a miracle to save this franchise. You know, even though, to be honest, guys, I think the franchise perfectly ended 36 years ago with, you know, Return of the Jedi. But yeah. Oh, hello. Notification on my phone. Oh, it's from my my very dear friend, Alexander. He's just commented on my rewatch of How Last Jedi Should Ended by Haishi. It says, um, Lucmus, just watched Rise of Skywalker with my friend. Absolutely hated it. Oh. We both walked out with our heads down, totally disappointed. Several people all left throughout the movie. Oh, wow. People walked out. Tomorrow, I'm uploading my non-spoiler review and my spoiler angry rant. Oh, goodness me. Just going to reply to mine now, but wow. He's hated it, guys. Do you reckon I'll hate it as well? Well, I'm probably I'm going to hate it, guys, but I'm going to go and watch it so I can get my, you know, thoughts on it and my opinion. But, yeah, I just really hope it's good. And in case you're wondering, guys, my future self, if he even exists, or he's just like a dream, cannot call or text me because I've blocked his number. What? He's blocked my number? Oh, come on! Great, so I can't warn him about this movie now, can I, guys? Well, maybe when he's a written animated Hobbit movie in April 2021, I can warn him then, can't I, by bursting in the room? So, yeah, problem solved. So, yeah, he can't get me. Oh, is that the time? Right, I best get going, guys, because the film is starting soon, but, yeah, I'll see you guys later. What on earth was I thinking seeing this movie? Because, oh my god, right? I absolutely hated this movie. Like, oh god. So, it is now time to trash talk it. So, um, welcome to episode 4 of my trash talk series, guys. And today I'm going to be, going to be trash talking um, the ninth and final instalment of the Star Wars Skywalker Saga. Well, in my opinion, the last instalment was episode 6, Return of the Jedi. But, this is going to be a, a rant about the film called Star Wars Episode 9, The Rise of Skywalker, or, or as I call it, Disney Wars, The Fall of Skywalker, because I refuse to call it a Star Wars movie. So yeah, um, quick synopsis of this, so, The Rise of Skywalker follows Rey, Finn and Paul Dameron as they lead the Resistance's final stand against Supreme Leader Kylo Ren and the First Order, who are aided by the return of the deceased Galactic Emperor, Palpatine. So yeah. Now let's get through um the good stuff of this movie first, guys. And I'm telling you, I don't know where to start with good things, but you know, I'm going to try. So good things. Um, the visuals were you know as good as ever. You know, and uh, the music by John Williams. You know, John Williams's music, guys, is never a problem in any of these movies, in my opinion. He has such great music. Um. Plus, um, it was also nice to see the return of Lando Calrissian played by Billy Dee Williams. I did love that. Um, great performance, as always. You know, he's still got the same charm he had from the original trilogy. And, you know, I will say, guys, but, you know, when I saw the movie cinema, um, I did smile when, you know, Lando and Chewie reunited and hugged. You know, because I genuinely felt happy. Yeah. And I did also like Richard E. Grant as Allegiant General Pride. I really liked him, guys, and I wish he was he was the general in all three films and not Hux, to be honest. But, yeah. And I did, did also like how, compared to previous two movies, C-3PO had, you know, way more screen time and actually had a purpose in the story. Where he does what he does best, where he's a translator, you know, and... Um, and he had lots of screen time, because in previous two films, he, he was just like a background character who served no purpose, so, yeah. I'm glad we gave him a big role in this movie. But um, on to the bad things like, oh, God. It's so hard to say, you know, what I'm going to try my very best. So, yeah, here we go. Okay, like, I think this movie, you know, failed from the start, even with the opening crawl, because, like, 
As soon as I read the opening quote, I knew this movie was going to be terrible because the, the quote literally states that Palpatine has returned. So, yeah. And it doesn't even explain how he's come back at all. The movie doesn't even tell us or show us how he returned at all. Like, they dropped him in out of nowhere at all. And the opening of the movie made absolutely zero sense. I hated it so much. And like, you know, and plus, right, bringing Palatin back in the first place, that basically means that, that Darth Vader redeeming himself to be Anakin Skywalker and sacrificing himself to save his son and bring balance to the Force was completely pointless. Like, it makes the policy of the Chosen One all for nothing. So, yeah, I'm furious about that. It means he died for nothing. Like, that really, you know, made me furious. And plus, right, I also hated how, you know, the movie had such large amounts of um, strobe lighting in a place where he is called Exegol, which is like a hidden world of a Sith. And yeah. Because I couldn't even tell what was going on, to be honest. I could, I could hardly see anything. I hated that. And yeah. And um, also, when it comes to other bad qualities, um, I also really hated how, you know, um, that they once again gave such little screen time to original characters and completely wasted them. For example, Leia, right? You know, this the way they portrayed Leia was they used archive footage of Carrie Fisher that they hadn't used previous movies, right? But it was stupid because she was hardly in the film. Like, that was just ridiculous. Like, and the way they sent her off was absolutely pathetic because... Guess what, guys? You know, just like Han and Luke, they killed Leia off. And I hated that so much. Like, you know, I thought this was supposed to be paying respect to Cara Fisher, who died, you know. But nope. Like, they, the way they wrote off was terrible. And the way she died was absolutely pathetic. Where all she does is she lies down, you know, and she's whispering, Ben! And then, then when Rey stabs Kylo, she dies. That was just horrible. I really hated that so much. And, you know, I also, as well, like, th this movie should have, should have taken notes from Fast and Furious 7 because the way they sent off Paul Walker, who died, rest in peace, was miles better than how they sent off Carrie Fisher in this movie. And also, as well, um, when it comes to, you know, Luke Skywalker, I will say that it, it was sort of like, shall we say, guilty pleasure to see Mark Hamill return as Luke, because I thought he wouldn't return because he hated work on the Lazy Jedi, but it was his first line in the movie that, that made me, you know, lose respect for Luke, because, you know, because he catches his father's lightsaber with, with the Force, you know, as a Force ghost, and he comes out and he, and he says to Rey, a Jedi's weapon deserves more respect. And I'm thinking, oh, says a guy who tossed it over his shoulder like it meant for, like it meant nothing, like a joke. Like, what a hypocrite. How could he do that? And you know, um, plus, R2-D2 was also incredibly wasted because he was also hardly a movie, which I really hated. You know, I really did not like that at all. Poor R2. And um, not only that, but, you know, the story as a whole, I really hated it so much. Like, this movie, in my opinion, guys, is basically a rip-off of Return of the Jedi. You know, a remake of just like our previous two movies in this trilogy, you know, rehashes of the original trilogy, you know. This movie was trying to be like Return of the Jedi, and it failed miserably, I'm telling you. Like, oh, God. And, like, you know, it was also stupid how it was real that Palpatine made Snoke as well. Like, you're basically ruining such an interesting character from, from the first two films by doing that, you know. Like, and plus, well, when it comes to, you know, um, Chewbacca, right, there is one thing I really hate about this movie, guys, which was I hate how they did, like, a fake death for Chewbacca. Like, I really hated that. But, you know, thank God he, he survived the movie. He was still alive. Thank God for that. And, um, but yeah, as as a fun fact, guys, when I watched it at the cinema, I saw some people leaving the theatre when the Apios or Chewbacca had died, you know that, I saw some people leave, so like, I'm thinking, well, good for them, because I didn't like the rest of the movie. And you know as well, right, um, I also, I also thought it was really stupid of Carlo Ren to rebuild his helmet, because, you know, um, like... I thought he was going to destroy his helmet so he could stop being like, you know, Darth Vader and try to be his own thing, but nope. What what that was all for nothing. Like he says, 
let the past die. And then he fixes it in Rise of Skywalker. Yeah, what a hypocrite. And, you know, like, what I, what I also did not like was, um, you know, this tr this trinity of heroes, you know, Raven and Paul is stupid because, you know, they don't even meet until the end of The Lazy Jedi. And in this movie, they're finally together. So, like, you know, why has it taken them so long to work together? But, yeah, it's just ridiculous. And plus as well, right, uh, when it comes to, um, like... And also, when it comes to, you know, as well, other characters, um, I really hated how they, how they hooked in this film because I hated how, you know, um, just like the previous movie, he was incredible. He had such wasted potential because guess what, guys? In this movie, out of nowhere, he's a spy working for helping the resistance. Like, you know, and I believe that rips off like a character from Rebels, I believe, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, another rehash right there. And then he gets killed by General Pride. So, yeah. And, like, I don't get, you know, why he didn't go with the Resistance to escape. Why did he let himself, you know, be explored as a spy? Because I, I, cause I'm pretty sure Pride found out quite easily, you know, based on the fact that he killed him so swiftly, you know. But, yeah. And, um, now, when it comes to, you know, Palpatine, right, I'm going to say that, you know, even though I hate how they completely butchered Palpatine in this movie, even at Dear Mid, he's a great actor, guys, and he once again gave an amazing performance as Palpatine, right? He was still great as him, no matter what. But, I really hated how, um, like, get this, guys, right? They did something really stupid, which rehashes the whole Luke, I'm your father, you know, no, no, I'm your father thing from Empire Strikes Back, where basically they make Rey a Palpatine, yeah. Because apparently she's Palpatine's granddaughter, which is absolutely stupid. It's basically the dumbest writing I've ever seen to explain why she's a Mary Sue. So stupid. Because there's no way the Emperor would, would have children. No way. Because all he cares about is his rise to power and being, you know, the Emperor. You know? He does not care about having a family. Not to mention, Ray's father, who is, you know, you know, um, Palpatine's son, like, you know, a clone of him, you know, um... Um... Basically, like, it's just stupid how, you know, he looks nothing like him at David at all. Nothing like him. What a miscast. Like, it's just ridiculous how they made her a Palpatine. Like, because there's no way Palpatine would ever have children. No way. Just absolutely stupid. I also as well disliked how um, they, the new characters, like, I did not like Zori Bliss at all. Like, what was her purpose in the movie, seriously? What was the point of Zori? And... Janna also said no purpose either. I did not like Janna at all. Like, I didn't like it. And um, plus, speaking of Janna, right, you know, the place where she is, where they meet her, like, I really hated how, you know, there was a piece of the Death Star, you know, on this, like, watery moon thing near Endor. Like, I don't get that because the Death Star was vaporised when it got destroyed. It got totally destroyed. Like, nothing left at all. So why was there a large piece of it on this, this, you know, watery moon, you know? And, like, why was the Emperor's throne room so intact? Like, it made absolutely zero sense. And also, it comes to Rey, you know, like I mentioned on my, my spoiler few of you, I did in December when I saw the movie, I hate how they treated this movie with the development, you know, still a Mary Sue, and it was also stupid how they made Leia train her, like, why couldn't Luke have trained her? Because he is way more sophisticated with a force because he's a Jedi Master, for God's sake. Leia, Leia wasn't. Like, it was just stupid. And, like, um, also, the whole concept of force healing is absolutely ridiculous because, you know, it was never used before in movies by the other Jedi. And all of a sudden, Rey can use it. So, like, because the, the other Jedi weren't taught this, you, you make out that, you know, the Jedi, the, the, the teachings are, are, are stupid because they don't include force healing. So, the Jedi in the prequel trilogy didn't, didn't use it. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous. So, like, somehow Ray can do it. Like, <sighs> I was furious. And, um, plus, when it comes to, you know, Free Pure, right? I will say that even though I did like how he had more screen time and had a purpose in the story, I really, really hated the scene where he loses his memory because, um, as I saw in the trailer, you know, in October, you know, um, 
in my head I was thinking this, right, because when he said to, you know, Ray, Ethan and Paul and, and that, that, you know, he's taken one off, look at his friends, that really angered me because, like, they are not your friends, you stupid idiot. <sighs> they never were your friends. You didn't, you'd barely even know them. <sighs> the only friend of his in that scene was Chewie Backer, and that's it. Chewie was his only friend in that scene. <sighs> like, what did we do to free people in that scene? They made him so stupid. They're not his friends. And another thing as well that I also... I mean, one of the good quality was is I do like how Rose had way less screen time than Leslie Jar, which I was happy about, but... And I do like as well how, you know, they also dismissed the whole Udall manoeuvre as, like, a silly joke. Which it was, because it was a stupid scene. Don't get me wrong, guys. It was stupid. Because, because this movie feels like it's J.J. Abrams' way of apologising to us after the disaster of the Lazy Jedi. But still, he did not improve it. No, no, no. Absolutely not. And plus, right, I also, as well, did not like, as well, the scene with Han Solo either. Because, like... I don't get why he came back because, you know, like, I thought Harrison Ford was done playing Han and that he got Han Solo killed off so he couldn't play him again, you know. But he, he probably came out for money, maybe, I don't know. But, like, um, I will say that I did smile when I saw Han, but at, at the same time, I was, I was confused. Like, it didn't make any sense why he would come back, you know, after he got him killed off in The Fast Awakens. So, yeah, absolutely stupid. And plus, when it comes to character screen time, even though it was great to see Lando come back, guys, I really hated how, you know, Lando was hardly in the movie because, um, you know, after we see him on Pasana where he hugs Chewbacca, we don't see him again until, like, over an hour later when he, when he comes to the Resistance base. And, like, I'm wondering, how did he know where they were? Seriously? Not to mention, guys, you know, um, Palpatine as well, because um, not only did they butch him, he also had, had such small screen time as well, which I didn't like. And, and, the, and the way he looked was horrible, because at the start of the movie, he looked like a zombie. And even when he, when he gets rejuvenated by draining, you know, Ray and Ben's, you know, force from them, you know, to get his, you know, strength back, you know, he still looked horrible. And, like, speaking of that, you know, you probably know why I called him Ben, because guess what, guys? You know how they talk about, you know, rehashes? They rehashed Darth Vader's redemption by making Kylo Ren redeem himself to become Ben Solo. I hated that. Because I wanted Kylo Ren to die evil. Because if he died good, it'd be ripping off Darth Vader's redemption. Like, I was so disappointed with that. And, plus, right, I also really, really hated the final act of the movie because, right... Because not only did it rip off, you know, Return of the Jedi, it's also ripped off my favourite movie of all time, Avengers Endgame. Because, right, you know, the scene where, you know, Lando comes with reinforcements is ripping off a portal scene from Endgame. I mean, what's funny is, you know, Lando said said, said there more of us in the Millennium Falcon and, you know, um, in Avengers Endgame, the character that, you know, contacts the, the person in need is Falcon. Just so stupid how they, they ripped off that scene. Like, the portal scene was way more emotional and way more impactful than this scene. And, plus, right, the scene where, you know, Ray de defeats Palpatine somehow is stupid. And, like, I really hated how, you know, they denied us the chance to see Force Ghosts of, of Jedi I love, like Anakin, Obi-Wan and Yoda. And instead it's just voices. So stupid and... I don't like how many of the live-action actors were replaced by their Clone Wars actors as well, which I did not like. Like, they replaced um, Amy Allen with Jennifer Hale as Ayla Sakura. They replaced... Um, Olivia Darbo was Luminar Unduli as well. And Andrew Perrin was Ed Adigali. Like, why couldn't they cast the live-action actors as, as their characters, you know? It doesn't make any sense. And they got, you know, Samuel Jackson as Mace Windu, which I was happy about. And Frank Cos as Yoda, Liam Neeson as Qui-Gon. And Hugh McGregor as Obi-Wan Kenobi. And Hayden Christensen as Anakin. And they've got Ashley Exxon as Ahsoka. And uh, Freddie Prince Jr. as, as Kanan as well. Um, but yeah. And I hated how, you know, um, somehow, somewhere she's able to defeat Palpatine. A girl who's had no training to become like a full-fledged Jedi. Like, Yoda couldn't defeat him. Mace Winnie couldn't defeat him. Luke couldn't defeat him either, you know. Because he couldn't defend himself from the lightning, you know. 
He was only defeated in Return Jedi because he was off got, caught off guard by his old, old apprentice who had been redeemed, you know, but... The CGI as well to show his death was also stupid as well. And um, there's also one scene that I really, really hated when... Because after Palatine is defeated, Rey dies from, you know, the effort, somehow. And then Ben Solo, who was thrown down a cliff by Palpatine, climbs back up, you know, dying and, you know, gasping for breath. And guess what, guys? He force heals her. And guess what? They kiss! Ugh! Like, that was so cringy. Like, I don't get it because I thought JJ was trying to, you know, repair damage done by Lazy Dark. And I, but somehow, he included Raylo. And I hate Raylo so much. Like, that's one thing I hated about, you know, of the Lazy Jedi. I couldn't stand that at all. But somehow I was brought back into this by viral stupid, you know, Skype calls by the Force, you know. And, and that kiss scene. Family didn't last long because Ben died and became one of the Force. Which I was annoyed about. Also, the ending of this movie also ripped off the celebration scene from Return of Jedi because it shows the same plan and it's, you know, like, best been an end or... And, you know, it also shows Visitors celebrating as well. We, we even got Ewoks as well, cameoing as well. Rip off. And the ending of the movie also really upset me because, you know, Rey returns to Tatooine where we go to Luke's farm and she buries his and Anakin's lightsaber. But his and Leia's lightsaber because Leia has her own lightsaber, guys. She buries them. And, like, why would you bury the lightsabers there? Because, because, you know, Luke and Anakin, you know, they did not like Tatooine, did they, you know? And then we see an old lady pass by who asks her what her name is. And after she sees Leia and Luke's ghost nearby smiling at her, she calls herself Ray Skywalker. <sighs> that upset me. Some people walked out of the theatre about, but I was like, you know, sat down, you know, face palming because I was so upset. I was face palming. And like, you know. And and like as after that, guys, when I walked out of the cinema, I was so upset that I immediately I immediately went on to Star Wars YouTube channel on YouTube and I unsubscribed from them. Yeah, I unsubscribed from their YouTube channel because I was so disappointed. I was heartbroken. So I unsubscribed from their channel. And then after that, you know, um, I was heartbroken. That's when I feel my spoiler review really angry. But I, tr I held it back because I was doing spoiler free. But yeah. But yeah, this movie was just a massive disappointment. Like, you call this the end of 42 years? No. Definitely not the end. In my opinion, guys, Return of Jedi was the end of Star Wars. Not this. Yeah, this sequel trilogy was just completely unnecessary. It rips off Return of the Jedi, and it failed miserably to be a good movie. And, like, when it comes to, you know, Luke as well, right, you know, his scenes in, in the movie, you know, I guess they were better than Malaysia Jedi because he was, you know, much more positive and optimistic, but he was hardly in the movie. He only appears in, in two scenes, and that was it. Just like how Ben Kenobi did, because he, he plays the same what Ben Kenobi did, where he encourages the protagonist to, you know, fight the uh, antagonist, you know? And he only has two scenes like Ben Kenobi, he's ghosted as well. It was just so stupid and, like, one of the posters for a movie which shows Luke with R2 is misleading because, you know, Luke isn't a Force ghost and he's with R2, yet in the movie he never even meets R2. So, yeah, that annoyed me so much. And, like, um, but, yeah, anyway, guys, um, so, I'm, I'm pretty much done ranting about this movie, to be honest. Like, you know, this was, like, a big letdown. You know, I was glad I wasn't hyped for it because I, I I didn't want it to be hyped because I knew it probably suck and I was right, it did suck. So yeah, this movie was just horrible in every way. But it was like Evan Legend Jedi, Jedi, I will give it that, I will admit that, but that's not saying much. So like, um, after re-watches of, of clips, I now give it a 3 out of 10. I've changed it from 6 to 5 and now to 3 out of 10 because I think this is just a terrible movie in it and it sucks beyond all belief. So yeah. Um, anyway guys, so this, this is me doing my episode 4 of my Trash Talk series, which is for the Fall of Skywalker, as I call it. Um, so, you know, drill guys, um, be sure to give this video a like. Also, be sure to in the comments uh, what you guys think of this movie, you, you've seen it, what your thoughts are on it. Um, love to hear your thoughts are. Also, be sure to join Team Mama and subscribe for more videos in the future. And, may the Force be with you always.